All right, folks, so today we've got another quick how-to video, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Cheats function on the EverDrive 64X5. So the Cheats function is actually pretty straightforward. Um, it actually uses cheat codes for the GameShark, which you can just punch in, or you can actually put them into a text file and import them in that way. So that's the way we're gonna do it today, and we're actually gonna be utilizing gamehacking.org, where we'll be able to generate a text file that we can drop onto the EverDrive 64. So first thing we're going to do is head over to gamehacking.org and I'll leave a link below in the description to the N64 cheat code database. And the game I'm going to be creating a cheat file for is Clay Fighters. So we'll click up here on C, that will bring up a list of all the games. And then we'll scroll down and select Clay Fighters. And the version I'm using is from the USA, so we'll click the USA. And you can see here now we're in the Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut main database. And what I want to do is to be able to unlock the secret fighters without having to put the cheat code in. So I'm going to click on the drop down for access hidden characters. And that'll bring up a list of all of the codes that are available for it. Now here you'll see there's little checkboxes to the left. And I'm just going to go down and check all of the codes that I want imported into my text file. OK, then once that's done, we're going to go up into the top right corner. And I'm going to change the format to EverDrive 64 v0.128 plus. And then I'm going to check the radio button right next to checked, which means we'll just take the codes which are checked. And obviously, if you want to take all of the codes for the game, then you can just leave the all radio button checked. Then I'm going to click on the file name, and this should match the name of the ROM on your EverDrive 64. So select the one that matches your file name. And then I'm going to click download. So we'll give that a couple of seconds. It doesn't take too long, but once it's done, we'll go to our downloads folder. And you'll see there is a .txt file that's been generated. So I'm just going to take that over to my desktop. And then I have the SD card from my EverDrive 64 in my PC right now. So I'm going to navigate over to that, head into the root of the SD card, and then into the ED64 folder. And within that, you'll see a folder called Cheats. So we'll double click on that. And then we're just going to drag the txt file straight over into that folder and we're all done so let's head over to the n64 real quick and we'll get all this set up and see how it works so here we are on the main everdrive 64 screen and i actually have the ed64 folder hidden so if you have that hidden as well all we need to do is hit the z trigger which will bring up the main menu hit a on options Scroll down to Hide System Directory and turn that off. And then hit B to go back to the main screen. Once you're in there, go to the ED64 folder. Scroll down to Cheats and hit A. And in there you'll see the .txt file that we just copied over to the SD card. So click A on that and that'll bring up a file menu and what we're going to do is load cheats so hit a again and here you'll see all the cheats which are in the txt file so you'll notice at the bottom of the screen it says these codes are going to be applied to clay fighters sculptors cut which is correct so we're going to hit b it'll say save cheats select yes and hit a and then it will take you back to the cheats folder now I actually renamed my ROM files to take out the region designation. So it's actually created a brand new file in the cheats folder with a file name that matches my ROM's name. And if I was smarter, I would have just renamed this while I was over on my PC, but I didn't think about it. So what I'm going to do now is just delete the Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut file with the region designation in it. So I'm just going to hit A to select it, scroll down to delete, and hit A again to delete it. And just leave in the one txt file that we actually need so now to activate the cheats all we need to do is hit b to get back to the main screen scroll down to clay fighter sculptors cut hit a scroll down to cheats which will bring up the cheat code editor and i'm just going to turn off 
all of the codes except for the one to have Earthworm Jim appear, which is the one I really want. So you've just hit A on the code. You can turn it on or off by just hitting A on disable. Or if it is turned off, you can turn it back on. It will say enable. So I'm just going to scroll through these real quick and disable the ones that I don't want on. And on this screen, if you did find codes in another place that aren't already in that TXT file, you can actually add them here just by hitting A on one of the blank codes and it'll bring up a text editor that you can plug your codes in with. So pretty straightforward, but downloading them from gamehacking.org is definitely a lot quicker. All right, so now I'm done setting up the cheats that I want. All I'm gonna do is hit B to go back. It'll ask me if I wanna save the cheats. I'm gonna say yes. And I'm going to hit A, and A again to start the game. So here you can see the game's booting up. And now in theory, when we go to game start, and get to the character select screen, if we scroll down to the bottom left-hand corner with the question mark in it, and hit the L trigger, Earthworm Jim should appear. All right, perfect. So you can see Earthworm Jim there. So the code definitely worked. Earthworm Jim's definitely available. So we'll just wait for him to load. Let's get ready to crumble. And there he is. Let's get awesome. So like I said, the built-in cheat function within the EverDrive 64 is pretty straightforward to use. Like I say, you do have a couple of different options on how you can enter your cheats, but I would definitely say if you do have the option of going through game hacking and just downloading all the codes, it's a lot quicker than manually typing them in on the edit screen. One thing to note is there are some games which require master codes, so if you are doing a search around online for cheat codes for your games, just double check to make sure that you don't need a master code for the cheats to work. If they do, just include the master codes in your cheat list and make sure they're enabled. But other than that, that's about it. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please drop us a like and also consider subscribing. It's really helping the channel grow. And also, don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching.